Good morning! Sean and I are here again at Goodwill Bins. We come here a couple times a week usually, but here we are. No. Goodwill Bins. Semi-regular? Yeah, semi-regular visit. Looks kind of old. Yeah. yeah. What is this? It looks like a, a Christmas manger, maybe? Yeah. So, not finding a whole lot today. Lots of little things but nothing that's really popping. Let's go down here. There's lots of purses and clothing today and toys. I feel like things go in cycles with what they put out. So whenever there's clothes and bags and stuff like this, it's just a lot of rummaging through things. pickings today yeah but we got a few things nothing like that I'm like super excited about you got your dough hook I for your kitchen aid I didn't want to buy one on Amazon so I got one nice to, just had to have patience yeah. for a year you so have I am back from Goodwill bins it wasn't a great haul there today um, I did get a few things. I got a bag of stuff. I only spent like $17, which isn't too bad. I'm going to show you what I got. We're going to do a haul, but I want to start some bread in my bread maker with the flour that I got from the sunflower mar market yesterday. So I'm going to do that first and then I'll show you what we got. So this is the bread maker. I actually got this from Goodwill Bins as well. It's literally like brand new um, I only paid a few dollars for it. it's actually one of the top rated um, bread makers on Amazon it's a uh, Naretva I think it's called but it has all of the different functions right here the only thing that was wrong with it is it had a slight dent back here which does not affect the use I've actually used it two or three times now so it works really good so I'm gonna use this early morning harvest flour for bread and it's organic flour and I got this at that sunflower market so I'm gonna make some bread and get that going and then we can do our haul okay so the recipe that I use um, is three quarters of a cup of warm water so I always put the liquids in first. So then I melt two and a half teaspoons of butter. Now I only have salted butter. The recipe that I use calls for unsalted, but I'm just gonna put less salt in it. So I'm just gonna put that melted butter right down in the well. And then I'm gonna do um, a third teaspoon of salt instead of the two-thirds teaspoon. All right, so for the sugar, I'm gonna use two and a half tablespoons of the organic cane sugar. This is just the sugar that comes from Trader Joe's. And I do like a pretty decent scoop, two and a half of these. I like my bread a little bit sweeter. Two and a half. Now, it is very important the order that you put this stuff in the bread maker because it will depend, it will um, make a difference as far as the consistency of your bread. So, you want to put all your liquids in first. I actually put the sugar and the salt in with my water and butter, but then I'm also going to just add one egg in with that and now I can go ahead and add my dry flour. 
So this recipe calls for two and three quarters of a cup of the flour. I, when I pour my flour in, I just make sure that I get it right in the middle of the bread pan because what happens is if the flour is around the outside when it goes to mix it the flour ends up not getting mixed in and it sticks and gets very floury on the outside of the pan so i try to like make a mound right in the center okay so this is probably the most important part of the whole bread making process it does matter because your bread won't rise correctly if you don't do it this way you have to make like a little well in the top of your flour just like that and then i'm actually using the fleischmann's active dry yeast and i'm gonna take um i think it's one and a half teaspoons of the yeast and put it right in that little well all right you can see it right down in there in the bread maker i'm gonna close the lid and then I'm actually going to be making the quick bread, number two. So I'm just going to turn my setting to number two and then hit start. And that's it. The bread maker does it all. You can hear it in there turning the ingredients right now. So I have made myself some tomato and avocado toast. And I have my coffee and I'm sitting down for just a minute while my bread is cooking to watch some of my favorite YouTube vloggers. So that's what I'm going to do for a few minutes and then we'll do the haul. So I have my big bag of Goodwill bins stuff that we got today. I'm going to go through everything with you. Actually, I'm going to pull it all out and put it on my coffee table right here and then we'll go over what I got. Here's my pile of stuff. So let's quickly go over what I got. Like I said, I didn't get a whole lot today. I got a lot of like little things, but nothing like that I was like, oh my goodness, I can't believe I got this. Everything was just kind of like, you know, I didn't go overboard, but I bought the things that I know that I either use or that will sell really well um, in my Etsy shop. Okay, so let's start out with a few of these copper items because I did get some copper items. I collect these large copper cookie cutters and they had this pretty leaf pattern and then also a bell. And I don't have either one of these and they're in pretty good shape. So I got those for myself. Then, um, Sean had actually gotten these. They had just released a new um, aisle of bins and he grabbed these right off the bat. These are um, vintage um, copper tart pans. This one has strawberries on one side and then this one has some grapes and I really like these. I think I'm going to decorate. Um, I am I'm trying to collect some of these because I'm going to use them in my new kitchen. So I'm going to use those and then also he got this rooster which is a copper rooster. It needs some cleaning. It's got some gunk on it, but overall it's in pretty good shape and I don't have a rooster either. So I think that's kind of cool. Um, these were some other um, tart molds or jello molds or cake molds, whatever you want to call them. I do have quite a few of these in my shop. So I am going to add these to my Etsy listing. There's a square one, which is really cool. I like that one and then I, I do have this one as well but like I said these sell pretty good a lot of people buy these for crafts they buy them for decorating they buy them to use and both of them have the little hangers on them so those will go in my shop then I found this and I kind of found this last minute it's a um, it's a cast iron trivet but I looked on the back and it's Dansk which is kind of a very expensive um, Scandinavian style design. This was made in Taiwan, but it is a Scandinavian style design. So I really liked that and I will probably put this in my shop because I have quite a few other um, trivets like this. Um, so I'll probably just add this to that listing. Okay, also I got some randoms too. 
Um, I got an eco light bulb. It's it's silly. I don't even know if it works, but they're those light bulbs that last a long time. I usually buy mine from Ikea. It's brand new. It's still in the box. So I was like, you know what? It's going to cost me all of probably like 10 cents. So I just grabbed a light bulb. I do need a light bulb in one of my um, lamps. And then also Sean found this. This is some lavender soap made in Italy. It probably came from like Home Goods or something like that. But it's brand new in the box. It's all sealed. If I can open it up here it's pretty and it smells really good so i mean a brand new thing of soap for our bathroom why not you know and again it was probably a few cents okay then um these things always sell really well in my shop um spreaders these are like holiday style there's three of these ones they're little christmas um palm tree spreaders there was three of them in a baggie so i grabbed those and then here's another little grapevine spreader and then these two are like a um i think it's like lucite it's not glass and it's not really plastic i think it's lucite and those are just a couple little spreaders so those will go up in my shop as well and then i did find another um, grapefruit spoon and i always add these this one is a vintage um, it needs to be cleaned up but that one's a nice little spoon to add to my store also i got some doilies these are little coaster doilies and they're little lace coaster doilies i don't know how many there are i think there is there's a whole pack of them maybe six yeah it looks like there's six of them so again another really kind of cool little thing um and then there was some more little lace doilies i don't think these are coasters i think these are just i thought that they were snowflakes at first but i'll probably save these for crafting because they're really pretty. Yeah, they look like snowflake. They look like snowflake ornaments because they have the little hang tag at the top. But there's a whole bunch of different ones on here um, or in this bag. So I just grabbed the bag. I thought those were cute. Whenever I see like crafting kind of things like this, I always grab them. Um, these were... I didn't take these at first only because I was like, eh, I don't know. These are actually vintage kitchen utensils um this one's a spat they're both spatulas but they have the copper um bent piece in the middle like that they're meant to look like that i didn't know until i actually looked them up um this one right here has a little bit of wear on the handle but overall they're in pretty good shape they both have the little hang hooks on the bottom so if somebody like decorates in copper or has like a, a country copper kitchen or something like that these might be really nice to decorate with um like I said, I don't, I probably will list these. I don't think I'm going to keep them. I do have a few little copper pieces that I decorate with, but I just thought those were really different. They're probably from the 60s, I'm thinking. So, um, yeah, so I did grab those. And then I also got a spreader right here. This is a um, an Echo spreader. These things go really good. Anything like this, I always try to pick up. Any of this vintage um, kitchen utensils and tools and stuff like that I always pick up for my shop because they go really well and so there's just like a nice little cake spreader they last forever too that's why they're still around okay then I picked up some paper some ephemera and all of this is probably going to be for journaling um, because I like different papers whenever I get cool vintage papers uh, for journaling i kind of just stashed them away this is a score pad this was like um card there was a section of like playing cards with like vintage scoring paper for different games so there is a score pad a vintage score pad here's a vintage bridge score pad that one's really decorative but really really fun for you know ephemera and different journals um here's a canasta pad right there this was actually a book these are both books um so this is bolivia it is um 
It's a canasta game called Bolivia. It says it's faster than canasta, more exciting, perfect for two people. So this was a vintage, I think it was 19, I looked at the date on the center of this, uh, 1953. So that is a nice old canasta, learn how to play Bolivia book. And then this was another um, point count score pad for bridge. So there's a bridge score pad. So those are all just like ephemera papers that I will put in. I, I don't know about the, I think this, I, I might list this in my shop. I might read it, but that's going to go in my crafting stuff. All right. I thought this was really pretty. Check this out. It was a small little framed, I think it's a pheasant. I think that's a pheasant. I'm not sure. If anybody knows, let me know what that is. But I think it's a pheasant. But it looks like it is pencil drawn. And it is framed in this vintage kind of bamboo style frame. And I just thought it was really pretty. So don't know if I'll keep this or um, sell it yet. But I liked it. So I got that. It's not very big too. It's a nice size. Then I'm a sucker for vintage games. I always pick up vintage games if it's in mostly in good shape and mostly there. So this one was um, laying in a bin. The board was out of it. All the game pieces were out of it. I didn't know exactly what was inside. So I kind of pulled it all apart just to see what was there and if I could find all the pieces. And I ended up digging around in the bin for about 10 minutes and I found all of the pieces, all of the cards, all of the cards were there and all of the um, little pieces were there except for one yellow um yeah there's little one yellow little piece that i'm missing but i might have a replacement for it but this was from 1972 so i figured you know what i'm gonna get this because if i don't keep it for myself i, I have a fairly good collection of vintage games i'm not sure if we have sorry yet or not but it is a fun game i remember playing this with my grandparents when i was a kid and so yeah the whole thing is there and I, it, with the exception of one little yellow piece, but that is a 1970s sorry game. So I did pick that one up. Okay, also I got a bag of like knickknack patty wax stuff. I don't know, I, I do this um, and I do it with toys a lot. I will find like a baggie or an empty tin or something and I'll fill it up with like small little random things. I found these cool vintage wooden buttons which are really cool. So I did grab those. Also, I found another bag full of game pieces. Now I thought one of these pieces would fit in the game board that I just got, but they don't, they're a little bit different. But you can always use extra game pieces and there's a whole bunch of them so i picked up those as well um this right here was like a random mix mat mishmash of stuff but there was two little dice and these are little vintage dice and i need two dice for another vintage game that i have so i did grab the little dice and there's all kinds of other little rinky dink things in here i usually try to find like little things for jameson that he might like like this is a cute little rainbow eraser there's some cute little um animal figurines in here there's some squishies there's a couple little um what are these marbles couple little marbles in there so again just a bunch of random little knickknack paddy whack things um and then there's also i think these are like tokens for like a checkerboard or something i don't know they can be thrown in my crafting bin because i always use stuff like that um, and then i'll give jameson like the little toys and oh there's more toys in here a couple little more random toys that i got for him he likes that kind of little thing um, I found one earring, which I will probably pull the back off and just use the earring in like a journal or a decorative piece of some sort or some sort of a DIY. I thought that was pretty. Um, a spool of thread, <laughs> just a random spool of thread. And then these I thought were cool. These are some crystal um, dangles that um, I think came off of a lamp, but there was only a few, let's see, there was, I have nine of them here. So again, these are like cool crafting items. 
So I did grab all of those and I definitely know they're old by their little hook that they have on them. They have a little hook which is definitely vintage. So those are some of like the little small things I got. I also got this piece of fabric. I don't think this is a scarf. I think this is actually a piece of fabric. It looks kind of like a scarf, but I, know, I could be wrong. There's no finished edging on it or anything. It's just this little sheer um, piece of fabric with these little velvet polka dots. So I thought I could use that in crafting. Um, I also found this little manicure kit. This is a vintage manicure kit. If, if I can open it up, hold on. All right, there it is. Not all of the pieces are here. Um, the clippers are here and the file is here, but it looks like it's missing a few other pieces, but it's just cool. It's um, Hoffritz, New York, Germany. So it's a vintage, probably 1940, 30s or 40s manicure kit. And I just thought that was kind of cool. So that will probably go maybe in, so I'm collecting a few vintage like bathroom items for a little display that I'm going to put in our new bathroom. So I might put this in with that. I've gotten like a little shave kit. I got like a little um, vintage shave um, cream thing. So this might go with that. I think that will look good with that little display. And then I got a couple of pot holders. This is just a vintage Christmas one. And then this one I thought was really pretty. This is a vintage um, kind of quilted I, th I don't know if it's handmade. I think it is handmade, um, a quilted pot, handmade pot holder in these really kind of pretty browns. So I thought that was pretty. This, again, will probably go up in my shop. Um, and then Sean brought over a bag of vintage fake grapes. Now, these kind of things go really well. People decorate with these a lot, especially the older ones. So this was a good find. There's a whole bunch of them in here. So it was originally $4.99 from um, the regular Goodwill. But like I said, I paid $17 for everything. So it was probably only a couple of dollars. And then I also got a bag of other um, clothing things. Um, I don't think I got anything. Oh, I did. I got a vintage St. Pete sweatshirt, which is right here. So this is just a St. Pete sweatshirt. It is a vintage one and probably from like 90s, early 90s, I'm thinking. And it's still in really good shape. So I got that for probably myself. And then I got Jameson this forky sweatshirt which is really cute it's disney it is a disney forky sweatshirt it needs all of this stuff i de i obviously clean but it needs to be cleaned a little bit but it's really cute and soft and fluffy so i think he'll like that um i also found a bathing suit now this is one of those things that i uh, it has to be in really good shape for me to take it from bins. Um, and obviously, like I said, I will wash it. This had a tag still on it and, it and it was in really good shape. It was my size. It never looks like it was even worn. And it is airy. I think it was the brand is airy. Yeah. So um, I figured I'll try it out. I always need bathing suits for the pool and jacuzzi and stuff like that. So I'll wash those up. And then... Sean got himself a t-shirt. This is a Marvel t-shirt right there. He's famous for finding t-shirts at bins. So he got a t-shirt. And then I also found a handful of other bits of fabric. So I found a little hanky, which was had some little stitching and embroidery on it. I got that. And then this was, I think it's, um like a tea towel and I really liked the colors of it so that's a nice little blue tea towel I got and then these are some fabrics let me see did I get any more yep oh no that was something different these were some different fabrics and I don't know I thought they were kind of quirky both of these were cats and there's a good amount of them good amount of fabric here so there's this one with some cats on it and there's this one with cats on it and I'm gonna just set these aside for crafting um, and put them that in my spare 
fabric section. This one, this is another little piece of fabric too that I thought was really pretty. It's like a vintage green and rose bit of fabric. So that's another good crafting piece. And it's probably a good yard or so there. And then almost done. I actually got more than I thought I did. <laughs> I got these. I thought these were nice. Um, again, these will probably go up in my Etsy shop because the colors aren't really my colors, but I thought these were cool because they are reversible uh, table placemats. And this one is more for like an all year look with the kind of beige background and the really pretty kind of mauvey pink flowers, but then it is Christmas on the other side. So you can do Christmas during the holidays and then flip it over and then this will be the rest of your year. And there is a set of four and they're all in like perfect shape. So I think those will go up in my Etsy. And then I think last but not least, I got a vintage, I thought this was kind of cool, a vintage um, apron. Look at that. This reminds me of the um, the Corning Wear Spice of Life. And it does have a really cool orange um, trim on it with these like little wooden, um, like uh, little wooden rings that the neck uh, pieces go in. But there it is right there. All right, so that is everything that I got in today's haul from Goodwill Bins. Well, my bread is done. And the sound that you hear in the background is my neighbor pressure washing his house. So it's kind of loud. But it looks like my bread came out pretty good. It's nice and golden brown. I'm gonna let it cool off for just a few minutes before I pull it out. But it smells amazing. And it like rose up nice and high. So it looks and smells perfect. Well. I'm gonna go take this out and cut it and have a bite. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging around with me today. Make sure you go and subscribe to my channel. Um, also turn on that little notifications bell so you're notified when I post new videos if you haven't yet done so. Um, I just wanna say I really appreciate all my subscribers. All right, so I am gonna go have some of this bread. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Take care. Yummy, yummy, there it is. All right, I'm cutting it up.